Here we go. Larry Oliver, Al Madrill. Third man in the squared circle is NWA referee Sandy Barr. Good crowd here tonight at the Portland Sports Arena. A lot of signs, a lot of banners in the audience tonight. I'll tell you, you make your plans. You'll be here next Saturday night. Make those plans. Bring your friends, bring your neighbors, bring people you don't even know. Come on down and have a good time. Make your own signs and banners. And you can hear, and see if you're close enough, you can hear what Al Madrill is sending, saying to Sandy Barr. Maybe you don't want to, but it could be quite interesting. The bell has rung. We are ready for action. From the House of Action. All right, the crowd really... <laughs> the crowd really getting on Alma Drill, calling him Baldy. We've got signs around the arena that say Baldy. And you saw what referee Sandy Barr did. Said, well, hey, they're just referring to uh, the top of your head now. That's all right. All right. Both men lock up right now. A hard smack by Madrill. Another smack by Larry Oliver. And Madrill goes down. Yeah. All right. All right, you folks in Madras. Boy, we got a card scheduled for you. This Monday, the 25th, Madras High School. There's going to be a battle royal with $2,000 on the line and a special event featuring Rip the Logger Oliver. Rip Oliver will be on the card. Sponsored by Jefferson County Fire Department volunteers. Matches start at 8 o'clock. That's in Madras this Monday. Tuesday, the 26th of March, we're going to be in St. Helens at the Armory. Starting at 7 o'clock, advanced tickets at Saxton TV and Appliances. And here we go again. We play Hide the Foreign Weapon. And you, uh, you saw what Madrill was doing. He's, he's got that. I don't know what that is. It's a, it's a brass bar, an iron bar of some kind, a little uh, for, for an object of, of some sort that he he keeps in his trunk, then he moves it to his, uh, to his boots. Now, you see, he's got it in his trunk. Every once in a while, he'll put it into a turnbuckle. Now, where's he got it? In the trunk? I don't know. He, he'd be great at the, at the shell game, wouldn't he? And, uh, and now he's he's um, he's telling Sandy Barr he's, he's accusing Larry Oliver of pulling the tight. Hey, 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 hey. And now Sandy Barr, oh well, Sandy Barr says, hey, hey, no clenched fist. He used the open hand, right? Top wrist blocked by Al Madrill. Madrill says, I got him now, baby. And there goes the hair, and he does have it now, that's for sure. He pulls the hair, and down goes Oliver. And Larry Oliver yelling up at uh, Sandy Barr. He said, come on, and he's pulling the hair. Hey! And of course, Sandy Barr having a little chat with Madrill. Madrill said, no, no, I'm not pulling the hair. <laughs> Madrill may be pulling the hair, hoping that a clump of that will come out of his hand that he can glue to the top of his head. Now, I heard somebody talking about that a while ago. I don't know if there's any, any truth to that whatsoever. The folks at ringside are yelling at Sandy Barr. They're yelling at Al Madrill. Madrill's yelling back at them. And you can see for yourself exactly what's happening. Wednesday, March 27th, 7 o'clock at Moppin, Oregon. Moppin High School, advanced tickets at Barnett Service Station. Sponsored by Moppin Senior Parents uh, for the Senior Non-Drug, Non-Alcohol Party. And then Thursday, March 28th, 7 o'clock, Evergreen High School, across the river in Vancouver. Advanced tickets at Orchard's Elementary School, sponsored by Orchard's Elementary Chess Team. There we go, the drill again. Look at that. Now, you see that? There's a good close-up. What's he doing with it? He's still got it in the tights, right? Turns around, gives uh, Larry Oliver a chop in the back of the head, a hard pop right in the mouth. Oliver turns around, and he takes a jab in the stomach, forearm smash across the back of the neck, and through the ropes and outside onto the floor goes Larry Oliver. Oh, and now it's Madrill. Madrill moving into action against referee Sandy Barr. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Madrill. That's one fight you'd lose right away. It costs you money. It also costs you some time in the ring. Next Friday, March 29th, we're going to be in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds starting at 8 o'clock. Well, they got a big card scheduled in Eugene. First of all, it's kids' night. Kids free when accompanied by a paying adult. And Rip Oliver is going to be on the card in Eugene. 
And wait till you see what's going to be happening with Rip Oliver in Eugene next Friday night. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Next Saturday, right here at the Portland Sports Arena, and it's kids' night here in Portland. Next Saturday night, kids three when accompanied by paying adults. As you watch Larry Oliver slump in the corner, and Al Madrill, a hard chop, and out goes Larry Oliver back on the floor again. Madrill feeling uh, pretty proud of himself. And the crowd responding in time. Later on, the month of March, on March 30th, next Saturday, you already know right here at the Portland Sports Arena. And then Tuesday, April the 2nd, 7 o'clock in the Dallas at the Armory, advanced tickets at Phil Clint's book seller, and you can imagine the pain that Al Madrill is in right now. The Iron Post wins that battle every time. Wednesday, April 3rd, 7 o'clock, Gresham Armory. Advanced tickets at Mr. Formal, our good friends at Mr. Formal and Gresham. And then Thursday, April 4th, 7 o'clock, at the Salem Armory. Advanced tickets at Bill Beard Sporting Goods in Salem. Look at that. The girl reaches up, jabs the eyes of Larry Oliver. Now an abdominal stretch. And uh -huh, Madrill using the ropes for leverage. And that creates tremendous pain. As it, and it, it's got a feel to Larry Oliver that every muscle and fiber of his body is being stretched to the limit. And that is oftentimes a submission hold, especially when the ropes are being used for leverage. And Madrill got caught. I got him now, and he, not, he, he's here when he's yelling. He's yelling out here, yeah, I got him now, baby. What do you think about that? Huh? Mash into the turnbuckle. Mash into the stomach. There he the whip. Madrill into the turnbuckle. Back to the drop by Larry Oliver on Madrill. Madrill comes back. Faces a clothesline. Madrill is down. Now Madrill's got Larry. Oh, over the top rope. Madrill went over the top rope, and now Larry Oliver is telling Sandy Barr, hey, that's a disqualification. He threw me over the top rope. Actually, from here, it looked like Madrill threw himself over the top rope. He either threw himself or he kind of he kind of tripped over the top rope. The crowd, much of the crowd is on their feet right now, yelling at Sandy Barr. And Larry Oliver, of course, showing Sandy exactly what happened. Larry said, hey, I, I straightened up, and the guy went over the top rope. I did not throw him over the top rope intentionally. And apparently Larry... Now, uh, Sandy Barr is going to let it stand. He says, get back in the ring. That was not an intentional throw over the top rope. Oh, man. Uh, Sandy Barr got hurt, and now Larry goes over the top rope. Al Madrill looking around and said, wait a minute, what's going on? And now, all right, Larry Oliver was thrown over the top rope. Referee Sandy Barr has had enough of this, and he disqualifies Al Madrill. If Al Madrill weren't disqualified for that, he should have been disqualified for having some kind of a foreign object that he uses all the time. How many times have we seen him use that, that metal bar on his opponent? Well, this time he got disqualified for throwing Larry Oliver over the top rope. We will be back with more action after these words. It's the grand opening of Tom Peterson's Superstore. We make it easy for you with three great locations, east side, west side, north end. Welcome to Tom Peterson's Superstore. And at Jansen Beach, we've got it all. Colored televisions, home audio, car stereo, appliances. White Westinghouse washer dryer, both pieces, 468. Now that's Tom Peterson's Superstore. Making life a little sweeter. I can't stay a while. Making dreams a little truer. Life a little sweeter. Some things were meant to be done in the dark. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Oh, that was great. That was great. They finally did it in the dark. I want more. Mars Milky Way Dark. 
Look in Sunday's newspaper for the grand opening insert of Tom Peterson's Superstores. Buy the Samuel Rack System with CD, $3.99. <laughs> Here I am, baby. Need I say any more? You know what time it is if you don't buy a watch. <laughs> I just love it, baby. But let me tell you anyway, where you can see the greatest wrestlers in the world today. Monday, we're going to be in Madras at the high school. Starts at 8 p.m. There's a big battle royal in Madras. So all you loggers out there that smell like that spotted owl, just leave it alone for a while, and we'll see you at Madras High School. Tuesday the 26th, we go on to St. Helens at the Army, 7 p.m. Big card there. Rip Oliver and his snot-nosed brat Larry are going to be in St. Helens. Whoopie doo. Wednesday the 27th, we go to Moppin at the high school. That starts at 7 p.m. A big card there. You can see the wrecking crew in Moppin at the high school at 7. Thursday, we're in Vancouver, Washington. Oh, I love that town. <laughs> Smells just like Portland. Anyway, we're there at Evergreen High School. That starts at 7 p.m. A big card there. I hear Jimmy Jack Funk's going to be there. <laughs> Friday, we're on to Eugene. I'm not through talking. You don't know what I'm going to bite you. I don't care whether you're through talking or not. If you want to be a wisecracker like that, you better not let your mouth write any checks that your body can't cash. That's right. I was scheduled to be up here. I'm coming up here to tell all you little cowboys and all you little cowgirls out there that Jimmy Jack Funk is back in town. And boy, is it good to be alive and well and back in the Northwest. You know, I'm going to be in St. Helens Tuesday night at the Armory, and Wednesday night we're going to be in Moffin at the high school. And Thursday in Vancouver, Washington, there's going to be a great big old deal at the Evergreen High School. And that's to benefit the chess team at the Orchards Elementary. All those little chess champions out there, they're going to be wearing their cowboy hats and their cowboy boots. They're going to come on down. And Saturday, that's next Saturday, I'm going to be the guest on KKEY Radio 1150. He's going to be on with me uh, Saturday, next Saturday at uh, 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. And uh, I think he does a fine job, and I'm glad to have him on my show. Hey, and Madrill, you know, you get so cocky with this Fiesta Gardens and all, you know. I might not, I might not mind having a Funk Bar and Grill. Oh, <laughs> that's real cute. Well, this guy might have a good radio station, but the best show in the world is right here in the Fiesta. Now, as I was saying, Friday and Eugene, all the brats are going to get in free. I can't believe that. And next Saturday, Don Owens, you pencil neck, ball-headed promoter, why don't you retire and go back to that rest home where you belong? Because you're letting those brats in here next Saturday. You're letting them in free. Well, I'm telling you right now, on national television, I'm not going to be here next Saturday. Goodbye. It's over. Thank you.